everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about action cameras. Everyone knows that the industry leader is the GoPro, and it's hard to argue with many of its impressive features and popularity, but there's one major problem with the GoPro that us as creators couldn't continue to ignore. Many GoPro models, especially the last GoPro 12, are plagued with bugginess, and if you ever use one, you know what we're talking about. There's nothing more frustrating and disappointing than filming one of your epic adventures only to realize that your camera overheated and shut down in the middle of action. This has happened to us countless times, even in moderate temperatures. When you're sailing the Caribbean as we are, some of those moments that you're trying to capture just can't be recreated, so you need equipment that you can count on. So we started to search for a more reliable alternative. That search led us to the Acaso Brave 8. We wanted to know if the Brave 8 was comparable or even superior to the GoPro. So here's what we found out. So the Brave 8 boasts a one half inch CMOS image sensor, which should result in high image quality. The camera has built in lens with the equivalent of 16 millimeter f2.5. It has a front facing and back facing screen. The front facing screen is great for vloggers because you can frame yourself in the shot from the front side while you're looking at the camera. The back facing screen is an LCD touch screen. It's very user friendly, it's responsive, and it's got an intuitive interface. You can scroll through everything that's in there very easy to find. The camera comes with two replaceable 1550 milliamp batteries and a dual charging dock. This is an upgrade from the other Acaso cameras where you had to charge the battery in the camera. The camera itself is waterproof up to 33 feet or 10 meters and it comes with a waterproof case for deeper dives. The still camera can produce 48 megapixel images and you can shoot video up to 4K60 in 16.9 format. Here are the 10 pros that we found about the Acaso Brave 8. Build quality. When you pick up the Brave 8, you can tell that it's high quality. It looks nice, it feels nice, it feels heavy. It doesn't feel like some of the other cameras out there, the inexpensive ones that are kind of feel hollow and like a toy. It really looks good, feels good. It's got a good overall feel. The voice control works as advertised. It's convenient. I would add a little caveat. The exact wording required is a little bit confusing. To begin recording, you have to say Acaso Video Start. But to stop recording, you have to say Acaso Stop Video. This may seem a little silly, but it's a little bit easier to remember if it would say Video Start, Video Stop. And that's just a suggestion. The Brave 8 shoots video in 4K 60. You can shoot slow mode in 2.7K up to four times. And in 1080p, you can shoot eight times. Time-lapse video can be shot up to 8K, which is really impressive and something that the GoPro can't do. The Brave 8 can shoot photos at 48 megapixels, which is significantly better than the GoPro 12 at 27 megapixels. It's a great option if you need it, but we find that we shoot most of our still photos with our DSLR camera or our cell phones. Another major plus with the Brave 8 is it has a huge stash of accessories that come included with it, like a head mount, a chest mount, uh, tripod, float, bike mount, countless other attachments. So that's a big deal because when you get the GoPro 12, you're going to have to buy all the attachments with that. Another pro is that the Acaso Brave 8 comes with a remote. If you want to get a remote with the GoPro, you're going to spend an extra $80. Another pro is that it comes with image stabilization in the camera. It comes with two different modes. It comes with normal and it comes with super smooth. In 4K60, you can only use Super Smooth, and you have to go into the app to do that, which I'm going to add a little caveat here, because I'm going to talk about that in the con coming up. With 4K30, you can use Normal, which actually does pretty well in most circumstances. This is a test of the Acaso Brave 8 image stabilization turned off in 4K60. This is an image stabilization test of the Acaso Brave 8 in 4K30 normal mode.
This is a test of the Acaso Brave 8 image stabilization in 4K60, super smooth. Another major upgrade from the GoPro is that the Brave 8 battery life is about 90 minutes at 4K. GoPro has a 1720 milliamp battery, but it doesn't result in more life. Matter of fact, what we found and our biggest problem with the GoPro is that it shuts down typically before 30 minutes into it. And that's the reason why we started looking for another camera. As we mentioned at the start of this video, the reason that we're looking for an alternative to GoPro is the bugginess of the GoPro. And we've been using this for quite some time now, and we haven't had any bugs, any problems at all. It hasn't shut down, it hasn't overheated, we hadn't lost any video at all. So that is a big thumbs up for us. The biggest pro for the Brave 8 is obviously its price. It comes in at just $289 with all the accessories that it's included with it. It's about half the price of the GoPro. Over time, this becomes a bigger issue because filming in extreme conditions such as salt water, heat, or cold really takes its toll on any camera equipment. So it's going to cost you a bunch over the years because you're going to be buying more cameras anyway. So this is a big plus for us. So obviously with any camera, it has cons, and I've got to go over those as well. One of the cons that I see is the cage itself. Not a huge deal, but as you can see, all the attachments are attached to the cage. So if you lose or break the cage, which is a little flimsy, you're out of luck because you don't have anything to attach this camera to. So what I'd like to see is I'd like to see the Acosta team maybe address that, maybe do the same thing that the GoPro does uh, by adding it to the camera itself. The next con is image stabilization. And although the image stabilization is very good, a couple of things that I want to point out is that the image stabilization in Super Smooth is only available through the app. So you have to take the footage, upload it to the app, process it, and then download it to your computer. So that takes a lot of time, especially when you're doing videos once a week, once every two weeks. It's a lot of added extra steps and a lot of added time. Now the thing I will say is that Super Smooth is excellent and I'd love to see that built into the camera. One of the other things about the image stabilization is that in 4K60, it's got normal built into the camera, but you can't use normal in 4K60. You can only use normal in 4K30, which I will say the image stabilization for normal is pretty good and it's probably going to be adequate in most circumstances. The last con that I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to say it's probably the biggest con, is the audio. The audio in a room uh, or when there's no wind at all is actually pretty good. It's got two different modes, that's stereo mode and human mode. Human mode filters out background noise and focuses basically on your human voice. It also has the ability to attach to an external mic, but really it doesn't help out a lot. It kind of sounds a little bit canny, but it can't attach to a wireless mic, aftermarket mic like we use. And I'd really like to see them just it seems like that would be kind of easy to do, but I don't know. All right, this is an audio test of the Acaso Brave 8 in stereo mode with no wind noise. This is an audio test of the Acaso Brave 8 in stereo mode with wind noise at 15 miles per hour. This is an audio test of the Acaso Brave 8 in human mode with no wind noise. This is an audio test of the Acaso Brave 8 in human mode with wind at about 15 miles per hour. This is an audio test of the Acaso Brave 8 with the external mic added with no wind noise. This is an audio test of the Acaso Brave 8 with the external mic added with 20 miles an hour of wind noise. I would say that if Acaso is going to focus on one thing for an improvement for their next version, it would be the audio and the ability to attach to an external mic. So I think as a wrap up here, I think the Acaso Brave 8 is a great option. It's a great option for us. Coming in at about half the price, it gives you the ability to 
use it in more extreme conditions, uh, places that maybe you wouldn't take the other one, uh, going underwater with it. I know a lot of our friends that have gone underwater in the case leaks and it you know, ruins their camera. At half the price, you can buy a couple of these you know, before you lose your GoPro. The thing also that I would say with it, with regards to the video quality, the video quality is really, really good. I really think that what you're paying for with the GoPro is the marketing. You see the GoPro everywhere. They spend a lot of money on marketing, but this camera is just as good minus the audio, I would say. So overall, I'm very happy with the Acaso Brave 8. I think this would be a great companion to the GoPro or even as an alternative if price is a concern. We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Acaso for sending us the Brave 8 to test and review. As always, thanks for watching and we can't wait to meet you out there.